Hey everybody, Brad Greenfield here again for another edition of Tech Time. Today we're going to be talking about creating documents for printing on the plotter that we have here in the Central Region Office. So in getting started, starting here with Microsoft Publisher, when we open up Publisher most of the time we'll come to this default page of 8.5 by 11. Okay, that's not going to work. If we send something, a document created in 8.5 by 11 to be done on the plotter, uh, it's simply not going to work because when we stretch it out things are going to start looking funky. So what we want to do is start off with a template here or a blank page that is the actual size of the page that we need. So I'm going to go into File and then I'm going to go into New and click on More Blank Page Sizes. And you see here under Custom I've already created some but I'm going to create another one just to show you. So when we're creating a plotter uh, or a document for use on the plotter, we need to make sure that the width or the height, it doesn't matter which one, but one of the two need to be either 24 inches, 36 inches, or 42 inches wide or long or high. Okay, so one of these numbers need to, needs to be either 24 inches, 36 inches, or 42. I'm going to make mine 24 by 24, just so it's a square, easy enough. And I'm going to name this Plotter template 24. And now we can see that down here in our custom uh, custom range or, or custom files, we have this plotter template 24, 24 by 24. Okay, so I'm going to click on double click on that. And now we're in a 24 by 24. And you can see down here we're zoomed all the way out at 25%. Now this is okay for editing, for adding our images, whatever we want to do. But when we proof it, we want to make sure that we zoom all the way in to 100% and really look at those pictures that we're sending to make sure they don't get too pixelated, okay? So I'm going to go back down here so I can see the full screen. I'm going to insert a picture. And I'm just going to use the UT Extension logo. Drag this up here to the top. And we'll make this span just a little bit. And below that, I am going to insert a text box. And I'm just going to write, we'll center this. And we see that right now, it's 10, our, our font is 10 pixels by default. So if we were to type something, you'd barely see it. You can barely even see the line of text that I'm typing there. So what we need to do is go up here to the custom range. And if you do the drop down menu, you'll see that it goes only to 72. A lot of times we're going to need it bigger than that. So I'm just going to click in here and do a, a custom field and make the font size 100. Okay, So now we've got 100 size font. And we'll put our content there. Okay, Now obviously if you were doing something for the plotter you would have more than just UT extension and some text that reads your content. You'd probably have some other pictures or some other items, whatever the case may be. So I'm going to leave this the way that it is just for now, just for this, the purpose of this video. But I want to show you what happens when I zoom in to 100%. Make this screen so you can see it a little bit better. I'm just zooming in down here to 100%. So now I'm going to scroll up and get a good look at that picture. Now you can see here on this picture, we're starting to get a little pixelated. It's starting to get a little fuzzy looking here. It's not too bad. I guess I would probably be okay with letting that go, but if it got any worse, I would really want to maybe find a different picture to use or, or work on it a little bit so it doesn't look that way. Okay, so now all we would do would be to save this file. And you can, you can name it. I'm just going to save this one to the desktop. And we'll name it Plotter Video. And I better spell video right and click save. Now, once you have that created and you're happy with the way that the pixels and everything or the, the pictures and everything look on it, then you can go ahead and send that file um, to us here at the Central Region Office and we'll, we'll get it taken care of for you. If you go to print to look at this thing, you're going to see that it's broke up into several different pages. That's because it's basing everything on an 8.5 by 11 size piece of paper. Now when we get it here, we can do some things to make it print off on the size of paper that you selected, either 24, 36, or 42. 
but so don't pay too much attention to this the main thing that you want to look at is the pictures and your text and make sure that everything looks exactly the way you want it that it's not too pixelated so after you're done creating this image this document that you want to send to us the next thing you'll want to do is you'll want to go to the central region website and I'll just go home here and show you how to get to it now the thing that we ask people to do is to submit a request for a plotter job 30 days out now I know sometimes that's kinda of hard to do because programs pop up or we, we think of different things we can do in a program at different times but the main thing that we want to do is have some lead time so at the very least and please don't make this a habit but at the very least we need two weeks worth of notice to do this so after two weeks we can't promise anything that will get done uh, we'll do our best for you but we can't promise anything so what you'll need to do is come to the central region website and then scroll down and go to the IT page and over here in the quick links you'll see plotter request plotter print job request so if I click on that we get a form here that we can fill out once we fill this form out then we'll click save and then we'll go ahead and send it in so we'll need that accompanying your document that you're sending no more than two weeks out um, or sorry no less than two weeks out at the most uh, we prefer to have 30 days so uh, that about does it if you have any questions then you'll see my number and information there on the screen don't hesitate to give me a call uh, look forward to talking to you.